In game one, it was two 10-minute halves as the community took on the parents. The community struck for a goal in the first half. Abby Jones assisted while Matt Sacklad put in the goal. The parents, however, came up with a goal of their own in the second half. Mary Pelgrin put it in the right side after an assist from Patty Zeff. The well fought out match ended in a 1-1 tie after it was time for current Hillers players to take on Hillers alumni. I understand an intense field hockey game out there today. Are you girls ready to go? Yeah. yeah. Maybe. I mean, I'm, I'm excited. It's exciting. But I'm a little nervous. The team, the alumni are really good. So we're playing for Abby, who is um, our friend or teammate who passed away from anaphylaxis. And it's good to be everyone here, see everyone here, just like together and having fun and just remembering her and raising awareness and raising for money. For a good cause. Yeah, for a good cause. Now how's the rivalry going to be out there today? Is it going to be intense? It is. Last year it was intense. It was definitely a lot more intense than the parent game out there. Yeah, so I think it's going to be hard, but we better It'll win. It'll be fun. It'll be fun. I want that trophy. <laughs> Have you uh, been practicing a lot for this? This past week uh, we've been we went, practicing. We went to Fruit Street. Weekend last weekend. That's about it. All right, so have you girls been practicing a lot for this event today? Can't no. say we have been. <laughs> the last time we played was last year's yep. game. And we won, by the <laughs> way. But oh. we're confident we're going to win. Yeah. <laughs> now, uh, has there been um, any team uh, get togethers to get ready for the big day today? Uh, uh, no, uh, there might be an after party. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, there you go. All right, there so. is an after party. <laughs> so this is kicking it off. <laughs> <laughs> Can you talk about the uh, event today and uh, w why everyone is gathered up here? Yeah, we're playing um, for a fundraiser to benefit Abby Benford. Um, she was on the field hockey team. So we're all here to support her and her family and the cause and have fun. And keep smiling. <laughs> Mm -hmm. All right, now how's the rivalry going to be out there? Is it going to be intense? Yes, oh, yeah. my yes. sister's on the opposing team, so there will be a lot of <laughs> competition. <Yeah. laughs> All right, uh, do you think you girls are going to be able to take the game today? Definitely. I think Definitely, we yeah. We're That's out of shape because we were in college, but I think we can <laughs> pull through. <laughs> and are you still playing field hockey in college? No, no. no. We actually graduated college. I know. <laughs> Oh, okay. So we feel pretty old, but it's not going to keep us from winning. <laughs> All right, so it should be an intense game out there. Oh, yeah. yeah. All right. Go awesome. alumni. Any, any score predictions? Um, three nothing. Yeah. Us. Four one. Us. I was going to say three oh. two. I brought extra mouth guards. What? <laughs> no way there's a Yeah, no, goals. that's not going to happen. And it didn't happen. The score prediction might have been wrong, but the alumni come out on top as with about 16 minutes left in the second half, some terrific passing and an assist by Sarah Kennedy led to the Elizabeth Keith goal. That would be the only goal of the game as the alumni took the one nothing victory and the cup. It was a great time. <laughs> All right, awesome, and uh, it looked, uh, oh, it looked oh, also sorry. competitive out there. Were oh, you yeah. uh, happy you were able to get the win? Yes, we are. Second year in a row. <laughs> and many more to come. <laughs> All right, take us through that goal. Uh, <laughs> well, I kind of like blanked, and I got a little nervous when I saw the ball coming to me. Sarah <laughs> hit it in, and it just went off my stick into the net. <laughs> the second annual Keep Smiling for Abby field hockey event was a success and helped raise $20,000 in the fight against anaphylaxis. For more information, go to keepsmilingforabby.org.